morning, believers throughout the world. Here I am. I'm awake again. And I thank Father for a brand new day. And I thank Him for you and the fact that you are still alive as well. I give praise unto Him this morning. And I just wanted to let you know I had a wonderful weekend. I'm alive. I'll fellowship with my family and with, with members of the congregation. My soul was fed the word of the living God of Israel. And I have made stronger now than I was uh, this weekend. And I pray the same for you and you have joy. But it's a brand new day. And I've come this morning to read a few verses and to pray for the essential workers and to pray for those that have been vaccinated and those that have not been vaccinated. I come to pray for a father to protect his people throughout the world, to let the world know who his people are that he is protecting from harm and danger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless and thank you as we come to you, giving honor unto you. Hallelujah, our King, the wonderful one who watched over us and woke us up this morning. And for those that didn't go to sleep, you were with them. And for those that live in places where it is still day or it is still night, you are there with them as well. We give honor to the Messiah, hallelujah, who came and turned the world upside down and how you used him and the fact that he was crucified, dead, buried, rose from the dead to pay for our sins so that our bodies also can be healed and we can be delivered and we can receive wise counsel and we can fellowship with one another, for we are in the body of believers. We thank you, Father, that you made heaven, earth, and the sea, and all that in them is. We thank you that your children, through the Messiah, is taking dominion, hallelujah, in the earth, as you have instructed them, as they come to be born again, they are moving in this, your spirit. Thank you, Yahuwah, for your Ruach HaKodesh that's guiding and leading us every day. We thank you. Hallelujah. And so, for those that understand not, um, Psalm 91, verse 10, no plague will come nigh your dwelling. No plague will come nigh our dwelling. We will continue to stand on that, believe in our Heavenly Father, what He has put in there. If you are not born again, I suggest that you confess your sins, repent, and ask for forgiveness right now. Even before I pray, even before I read this, I'm praying that our Father will turn everything upside down and any lies or any subterfuge, anything that is wrong will be exposed and revealed. And all righteousness will, will re, through the light of righteousness, put up on areas and different ones that they will have to confess what they have done throughout the land. We give praise unto our Heavenly Father for plagues He has said in His Word that we can pray. It says, When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locals to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. We're desiring for Father to heal and restore and do the things that He does best, and that is everything. Also, it is said in Second Chronicles, when famine or plague comes to the land, 
or blight or mill do locusts or grasshoppers or when enemies besiege them in any of their cities, whatever disaster or disease may come, and when a prayer or a plea is made by anyone among your people Israel, being aware of their afflictions and pains and spreading out their hands toward this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place, forgive, and deal with everyone according to all they do, since you know their hearts. For you alone know the human heart, so that they will fear you and walk in obedience to you all the time they live in the land you gave our ancestors. Psalm 91 verses 5 and 6, a great psalm of protection said that we will not fear the terror of the night or the hour of the day, the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that comes at noonday. There are other plagues and things that went on in the scripture. Hallelujah. But I'm just going to stop right there. I don't want to do a long prayer this morning. I just want to get this uh, down in, in our spirit. In Jeremiah 21, verse 3, 7, and 8, it says, But Jeremiah answered you are to tell Zedekiah that this is what Jehud, the Elohim of Israel, says. I will turn against you the weapons of war in your hands with which you are fighting the king of Babylon and the Chaldeans who besieged you outside the wall. And I will assemble their forces in the center of the city and I myself would fight against you with an outstretched hand and a mighty arm with anger, fury, and great wrath. I will strike down the residents of this city, both men and beasts. They will die in a terrible plague. After that, declares Yahuwah, I will hand over Zedekiah, king of Judah, his officers and the people in this city who survived the plague and sword and famine to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and to their enemies who seek their lives. He will put them to the sword. He will not spare them or show pity or compassion. Furthermore, you are to tell this people that this is what Yahuwah says. Behold, I will set before you the way of life and the way of death. Whoever stays in this city will die by sword and famine and plague. But whoever goes out and surrenders to the Chaldeans who besiege you will live. He will retain his life like a spoil of war. For I have set my face against this city to bring disaster and not good, declares Yahuwah. It will be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, who will destroy it with fire. Father, I want to thank you this morning for protecting us and taking care of us. I want to thank you again, Father, for taking care of all these central workers that you have sent out today, protecting them. Wherever their name is appearing, I ask that you give them favor. I ask that you cause them to stand strong in any decisions that it, that they are making. I ask that you give them signs and wonders and show them, Father, that you are in their lives. We give praise unto you for those that have those that, that ache with the vaccine and those that ache without, we ask for healing. We ask for deliverance, Father. The word said that if we pray, if we pray toward the, toward the temple, Solomon said that he asked you to hear from heaven and heal us, Father. So we are coming. We are coming to pray. Hallelujah. It says again in Second Chronicles, a uh, verse. Uh, well, in Second Chronicles, and when a prayer or plea is made by anyone among your people Israel, being aware of their afflictions and pains, and spreading out their hands toward this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place. And I'm coming here because I'm part of Israel. I'm coming, Father, to plead for your people, for our people. I'm coming, Father, to ask you to have mercy upon them today. Ask you to have mercy upon them in the hospitals. Ask you to have mercy upon them on their jobs. I'm asking you do not allow the enemy to take their jobs from them because of decisions that they make. I'm asking you, Father, to send forth your word now in the midst of this situation. I'm asking where anybody is sick or ill, 
We're asking for healing to be sent into the place. We're asking for favor. We're asking for your anointing today. We're asking for protection. Again, Father, it says, And when a prayer plea is made by anyone among your people Israel, being aware of their afflictions and pains and spreading out their hands toward this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place, forgive and deal with everyone according to all they do, since you know their hearts, for you alone know the human heart, so that they will fear you and walk in obedience to you all the time they live in the land you gave our ancestors. We pray that you visit all the houses where where they have been struck with a plague or been struck with this virus. I ask that you visit every home and I ask that you be merciful and long-suffering and kind. We know so many people are yours and some are not yours. We want to thank you for those, Father, that are under the protection of your wings. We ask you to send your word, Father. I'm standing on your word that say you will hear this prayer. Hallelujah, Father, and I pray. And the word says, Solomon pray that you would answer. Oh, Heavenly Father, I touch and agree with the other prayer that you sent out across the land through the by the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that know how to pray. I ask that you visit my home and my children. And I ask that you heal anyone that is afflicted. I ask that you visit every place where the sick is, as your word said. Hallelujah, if we come to see you, if you are sick, Hallelujah, if the person is sick, then we come to see you. If they are in jail and we go to see them, then we come in jail. We ask you to stretch, send forth your word into all the situations that need you today. We ask that you expose the wickedness that have been sent abroad to harm your children. We ask that you do this, you do this for your great name's sake. Touch your people to turn, return, to, to repent. And come to you and come under your wings. We want to thank you for hearing this prayer this morning. For all those that stand in need of prayer and believe, Father. Uh, that you are praying this anointing prayer. Hallelujah, that your will will be done in our lives. We give you praise and we thank you. We thank you for the destruction of the wicked devices that the enemy uses. And we thank you for exposing. And we thank you for fighting all of our battles. Watching over our families and our children and our babies. Hallelujah, and perfecting those things of our jobs and our insurance policies, etc. Paying off all of our bills and everything. We thank you again this morning, Almighty El Shaddai. For hearing our prayers, we baruch you, we thank you. We praise you, we worship you. We know the answers are in your hands, Father. Nothing is impossible for you to do. Heal your people, Father. Restore your people, Father, that have stretched their hands forth unto you. We give you praise this morning, and we thank you. Hallelujah for all that you're doing. May Father touch your body, heart, soul, and mind, and grant what you need. As you heard uh, Solomon praying, that if any, if Israel say a prayer when you have afflicted us, hallelujah, that you, he asks you to hear from heaven, Father. I ask you to hear from heaven. And I ask you to please, Father, touch your people to pray for your will to be done in the heaven and on earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. As it is in heaven, let it be on earth. Let it be on earth. There's no sickness in heaven. Let your children walk around healed, Father. Let your children's heart be full of the peace, since the Prince of Peace is in it. Oh, Father, we praise you. Oh, Father, we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm in the land of the living. I'm still alive that I can pray. And I pray that his prayer comes through. We want to give you praise and honor this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Agree with me. Come on here, you all. Agree with me in prayer. Lift your hands up to the most high right now. Pray for your loved ones to be healed and delivered and to make right decisions. And that Father will give them favor. Favor as they go out. Favor when they come in. Favor when they drive in their car. Favor when they're cooking. Hallelujah. 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 Pray that Father heal our 
our bodies. Heal our souls. Heal our minds. Forgive us for sinning against it like we have. Help us to turn from our wicked ways right now. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah. Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah. Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah. Oh, my heart. Is full of joy for you. Your word has said nothing is impossible for me to do. Oh, we believe in you. Yes, we do. For your word says. There is nothing impossible for me to do. Only believe. Only believe. Oh, believe me, my children. There is nothing impossible for me to do. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What do you do with though? Hallelujah! And give him some praise! To be alive. Yes, I am. Let me get my show and I hope it can blow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 my friends. Oh, my relatives and co workers. Nothing is impossible. For him to do. Poof. 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 Him this morning. 
Hallelujah! 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 H